Hi, I'm Pastor Dean Hemphill, and you're watching 10 Minutes of Truth. We have in the Bible familiar passages of scriptures that many times when we call those scriptures out, people say, I know all that. Today I have a familiar passage of scripture I'm going to read to you in, in our Bible study. And I want to title this Bible study today, The Inward Well, Having a Well on the Inside of Our Life. I'll read the text, John 4, verse 13 and verse 14. Jesus answered and said unto her, the Samaritan woman, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So I'm going to talk about the inward well. It's having water on the inside of our life that satisfies us. First of all, I'm going to talk about the unsatisfied thirst that people all over the world, all over our country, are trying to find the thirst to be satisfied in other things. In verse 13, it says, Jesus says, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Now, people are always trying to find satisfaction to quench the thirst with so many things, and they go out and try to find it. No matter what people find, who they find, if they do not find a relationship with Jesus Christ and with Him fellowship, the thirst is still not quenched. Jesus says to the woman of Samaria, if you drank from this literal well in the ground, you'll thirst again. If you depend upon relationships, occupations, pleasures, material things, or stuff to satisfy your thirst, you'll thirst and thirst and thirst. But Jesus says this satisfaction is for everyone, not a select group of people. Verse 14, Jesus says, But whosoever... Now, who is Osaheber? That's everybody. Drink of this water that I shall give him. Jesus says the water that he should give is for whosoever. It's for everybody. You see, he wants everybody to have the thirst to be quenched. He says that I shall give him. I shall give him this water. I shall give him an inward well. The promise we have in verse 14 is, is shall never thirst. Once you and I drink of this water, Jesus says, we shall never thirst. We have other thirsts in our life as a Christian, but not this one. This one is satisfied. What is this thirst then that we can have satisfied? That's the thirst for salvation, the thirst for security in God as being his child. That thirst can be satisfied and will be satisfied if you are, and I myself, are truly born again. That thirst is satisfied. Since I was saved many years ago, I never had that thirst again. I've had other thirsts spiritually from God, but not that thirst. That thirst in my life has been a child of God was satisfied when I got saved by grace through faith many years ago. Not only the promise we have, but the presence we have. Verse 14, But the water that I shall give him shall be in him. We'll have his presence. It's not H2O I'm talking about. It's water. It's, it's the Spirit. It's his word. He says, I shall give him. It shall, it, it, I will be in him. I'll be inside of you. Every child of God has on the inside the presence of water, which is the Spirit, which is the Lord Himself. I shall be in Him. That's the thirst quencher, is to have the Lord inside our life. Not somewhere out here that we're trying to see in the far off places, but He's on the inside. The inward well is on the inside. Then He talks about something else in verse 14. The abundant life, it says a well of water, not a, not a drop, not a drip, but a well of water. 
Everything that God does is in abundance. He said, I've come that you may have life, you may have it more abundantly. This is a well of water, and this well will not run dry. This is one water in our life, the Spirit, the Lord Himself, that will never run dry. Verse 14, it says, springing up into everlasting life. That's how long it will last, until everlasting life throughout eternity. To have the thirst satisfied on the inside, to drink of that water that we will not thirst again. In the story of John chapter 4 that's so familiar to everybody in church, this Samaritan woman had been married five times. She had five husbands. I think about the context of our study today. I believe that she might have thought every husband would satisfy her or she'd have that thirst quenched. But that's not going to happen. I have a wonderful, wonderful wife, a wonderful spouse, but no spouse in our life will satisfy this thirst. This thirst is not satisfied by anybody. It doesn't matter how much you love them, how much they love you. This vacancy in our life is only filled by the well, by the water. So she's been married five times, and the one she has now is not even her husband. She's still trying to quench that thirst. But Jesus says, listen, drink of the water that I will give you, and you'll never thirst again. You see, when she left the place that day, she left the, she left the bucket, but she carried the well with her. That's a wonderful thing to understand. Today in your life as a Christian, you have the well with you. You have in your, in your life, inside of your body, everlasting life springing up. That Jesus Christ, in times past, satisfied the thirst of your life and gave you the well, gave you the water, and now your thirst is over. I thank God today for the inward well because we live in a very dry and dusty world. We have dry and sometimes dusty church services. But listen, on the inside is that well that you and I can drink up 24 hours a day. And that well never runs dry. We never have a shortage in the power of God because that thirst has satisfied our life. I'm satisfied being a Christian. I have found no fault in Christianity. I'm satisfied being a child of God. I'm satisfied with the Holy Spirit. I'm satisfied with God's infallible word. I have found nothing wrong with what God has given unto me. You see, the thirst in my life that has been quenched on the inside is wonderful. I trust you have that same thirst quencher. I trust you have the same well on the inside of you I have on the inside of myself. We don't have two wells out here. We got, we got one well. We got that one water. It comes down from God above. So today I trust if you are a Christian, drink from the well on the inside of that water that never goes away. Every day feast on that. Everything around you may be dusty and dry, but drink of that water. Let that water in your life bless you continually as a Christian. Now, maybe you have the water inside, but you have quit drinking. It's time now to start back drinking again. Drink of the living water of God that you will never thirst again. You see, we have many things today to be thankful for as a Christian, but I thank God for the inward well that Christ gave the Samaritan woman and Christ gave to me, and I trust to you that well on the inside we can rejoice in time and time again. So next time from Clark's Chapel Baptist Church, from 10 Minutes of Truth, I trust you'll drink of your well, you have a wonderful day in the Lord. God bless all of you very much.